Hey everyone, Ken here. And the team here at Ken's Beautiful Crazy Life love our Glowforge. So much we've created a new series called the Glowforge Spotlight. And the first five videos is gonna focus on amazing files that we found with a great partnership with the Laser Shark on their Etsy store. We're gonna create these beautiful Tiki God board signs and even show you how we made this base. Now, if you love their files, and I know you will, make sure to use our coupon code, Ken. K10. It's going to give you 10% off everything in their store and their files are pretty amazing. And if you find yourself falling in love with the Glowforge, make sure to use the link down below. You can get up to $500 off the Pro Machine. So let's dive right in to these videos. Let's get started. In this five part series video, we are going to make these tiki boards. All of the files come from an amazing store on Etsy called The Laser Shark. This specific video, we are going to concentrate on the baseboard that the Tiki's sit on. Now, when you purchase a file from The Laser Shark, oh boy, do they take care of you. They give you not only all the files you need, but they're broken down into a all-in-one cut, or you can cut by layer. Plus, you have the backing, which is the board we're making today. Furthermore, they give you an entire instruction sheet walking you through the whole process. But we are going to upload the backing, which is just a horizontal square. You're going to see this update on our medium draft board. Now, your Glowforge is going to center. And once we place the wood into the Glowforge, it is also going to scan the thickness of this wood. Now, this is a pretty boring cut because it's just going to cut a horizontal rectangle. So nothing amazing, but still you want to make sure you have it positioned just right. If you are not within the cutting area, your red line will be black. But once you're in the cutting area, that black line goes from red. Once you see that magical glow, you can press go and watch your Glowforge go to work. I know this is pretty amazing stuff watching a rectangle. It will get better, I promise. Well, at least I hope it will. You'll let me know in the comments regardless. Once the cut is done, you can remove your magical horizontal rectangle. Now let's make the slats for the Tiki Huts. Now I did get this from a different designer on Etsy because I wanted the slats to be a little off kilter. So I brought the file into my Glowforge app and now we're going to place the piece of wood inside of our Glowforge. I'm going to get rid of any of the pieces I don't need and because I'm using regular wood, it doesn't have a QR code, we need to set it to medium draft board. Once again, I'm going to place it to make sure those black lines go from red and I have it set to cut. The Glowforge is going to scan the piece of wood always to make sure it knows what settings to use. This is going to take 7 minutes and 49 seconds to cut these slots. The reason why it's a little bit longer is I did not realize that I had it cutting twice. As you can see, look at that. So pay attention when you are bringing those files in because I had no idea this was a score on top of a cut. And so the machine right now is actually scoring the wood and that it is finalizing it with a cut and it is also going to cut the outer rectangle again. But regardless, we got the job done. Make sure to let your Glowforge cool down. It says it needs to cool down. Really, it's to minimize that smoke smell. Now, 
wood planking would be kind of boring. So we're gonna make sure these slats have a tiki feel. Now I'm gonna distress them. I'm using Dixie Bell sandbar as our first layer. And I'm actually going to use a small roller to get an even layer of this paint on the entire slats across the board. Now, in my opinion, I love using a roller for this. You get a nice, even coat. And Dixie Bell paint dries really quick, easy cleanup. I love it. Now, I want to distress this. I really do want it to look kind of authentic. I'm going to start with Rebel Yellow, and I'm using a dry brush. I'm dipping it in that Rebel Yellow and just quickly going over each of the slats back and forth. And you get this really cool look to it. It almost looks like it's a little bit weathered. But we need to add even more color to this. So I'm going to grab pine cone and using one of my favorite brushes, the Bell brush. This, we are going to get a really cool texture. You'll note that I'm actually putting the paint onto a piece of parchment paper, removing as much of the excess paint off of the bell brush, and then very gently going over each of the slats. For the final layer, we're gonna use sandbar. Now I'm using two brushes. The uh, second brush I start using is actually just a one inch paintbrush that I cut down and it gives it this really cool splotchy texture look. So I'm dipping it and just splotching it all over. Then I'm finishing it with the Dixie Bell French tip. Go over that for a final blend and look at how amazing this looks. You get this really cool, authentic, weathered look. Once again, at the very end, I'm gonna pounce it with that one inch brush that all I did was cut it and look at that. Absolutely amazing. I love the finished result we got on this. But let's now combine everything, bring it home and glue these down. Now my go-to is the Ryobi One hot glue gun. This is fast, it's cord free, and it makes my life so much easier. We're going to attach it to the base that we got with Laser Shark, and we're going to make it off kilter each time going down. And it gives it really that cool, authentic Tiki Hut look. And just like that, we have our base finished. Now we need to make four of these because this is a five part series. You want to come back and check out all of the other four Tikis and how we finish it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks.